Amer honeysuckle is basically a no-count shrub that ruins native woodlands. It's a thief, stealing light and nutrients by choking off the understory. It grows so thick that many wild animals can't move through it, and it forms shade so dense that few other plants can grow in its shadow. It's a noxious, non-native weed that ruins natural order. It leaves out earliest in spring and drops its leaves last in the winter. Everywhere it shows up, trouble lies ahead. But you've got to give it one thing. It's often winter's grocery store. Producing vast tonnage of showy red berries, it feeds the birds like few other plants. And its dense twigs provide wind cover as well as food. So wintering birds congregate in its understory thickets. Cedar waxwings are handsome birds that eat berries. Big flocks of waxwings often hang around this nuisance plant where food is always available. They eat the pulp and skin for sustenance, passing the hard seeds through their digestive systems. Acid washed by digestive juices, the seeds are scarified and prepped for easy sprouting next spring. So the birds help the plants while the plants help feed them. Many birds eat the berries of Amer honeysuckle, including warblers, robins, and cardinals. And you can see why seed eaters like red birds would prefer tasty winter berries to natural dinners that could include sand burrs scratched up from the soil. Are you kidding me? But here's the proof of a cardinal trying to eat a spiny sand burr. Where's the honeysuckle patch? If you've got to live with amber honeysuckle, at least keep an eye out for its birding opportunities. You probably won't be disappointed. I'm Mike Blair with a bad winter cold. Bummer in the Kansas outdoors.